Very nice. Loaded really fast. Silence. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Maximilian Kallenberg, the senior scout for this resort. Before I pass you over to Vreni, your handler for the week, I wanted to give you a little introduction myself. To honor the vow of silence you've taken, I'm just sending you this voice message instead of calling. So first of all, thank you for volunteering here for a week. I've seen in your application that you're a big gamer, but remember that this is a real job with real responsibility and real consequences. So don't follow any game logic, but your real life common sense. It won't all be easy in the beginning, but if you carefully listen to what Vreni explains to you, patiently take your time and put in the work, it will be worth it in the end. Keep in mind that moving around on skis all day is physically demanding. You'll have to swing your arms around a lot, which can burn a lot of calories. And you get the best results with most of your tasks here if you're standing upright all the time. If that's just not your thing though, and you prefer a more relaxed way of getting around, that can also be arranged. Have a look at the options on the menu. Active mode for me. Since you'll be experiencing quite the journey here, it's important for me to talk about travel sickness or motion sickness too. If you're prone to that, we got some tricks up our sleeves to help. Just give the word and we'll activate them. If they work for you, you can reduce or entirely remove them later. But remember, if you start feeling weird, just immediately stop and take a break. I want intense mode. All right, that's all for yes. me for now. Don't forget to take this tablet with you once you're up top. Thanks again, and have a great week. Bye. Useful still for a moment, press start game. Okay. Ready? Hey, hello. Welcome to the Snow Scouts. I'm glad you have arrived safely and on time. In case you wonder, my voice is coming from that little radio in front of you. Please pick it up and move it to the front of your chest. It will attach automatically to the Velcro strap. Super, great! I've also been told that you've taken a vow of silence, so you will not speak, but that's no problem. By the way, my name is Vreni, which is short for Veronika up here. I'll be keeping an eye on you from our survey station on the peak of Mount Becker. If you turn to your left, you should be able to see the reflection from my telescope. Yes, yeah. Yeah. I can see you facing me. If you like, wave my way with nice big movements. <laughs> Great. I'm also pleased to meet you. Well, this telescope isn't really Hubble-type quality or anything, but I can see enough to guide you. But don't feel spied on. After all, I know you are here to take a break and get away from things. And I'm taking your vow of silence absolutely seriously. 
a week of not speaking, alone up here in this majestic alpine nature, will definitely give you closure. Still, in order for you to do your work properly, I'm gonna need some feedback from you at times. But there's a really simple way we can do that without you having to break your vow of silence. By reaching to your chest and pressing the button on the radio, you can send some static my way. Let's do it this way. Press once to answer yes and twice to say negative. Let's practice this right away by me posing a question. So, do you agree to this method? All right. Another gadget we left there for you are our augmented reality goggles. And you've already put them on. That's right. You see when the glasses detect the Snow Scout AR code, they will show an overlay. The AR enhanced signposts can give you real time information about the area you're in. That will be useful for your tasks later on. You can also access information on the go with a tablet computer you have been given earlier. You can bring it up on the left or right, depending which hand you favor. Oh, I'll quickly walk you through all the apps. Why don't you start by choosing the chat lock? Here you'll find a transcript of everything I say to you. It's like real life subtitling. It should also be useful in case you need to look something up. Or if I trail off mid-sentence, <laughs> it's definitely happened before. You can go to the next page with the arrow button in the top right. Or press apps and hmm, your task list. <laughs> Shows your to-dos for the day. Useful for keeping track of things. I guess you can figure out what a birdpedia is. <laughs> we'll get to that later. The built-in camera. <laughs> Pretty low resolution, but you can't have everything, I guess. Once you're done, just close the tablet button. Hmm. The Scoutpedia is our little dictionary for budding snow scouts. It will show more and more information about your tasks over time. Um. These settings offer lots of options in your life as a snow scout. Hmm. Do I care if the air release there? Probably don't. Movement settings are also pretty handy. Pull, turn direction, automatic recentering. Let's turn that on. All right. So let's get to work then. Of course, you'll be on skis all the time while out here, so let's freshen up your skiing skills. Good thing we have our beginner's hill right here. In order to ski, you'll need to take your ski sticks in your hands. Press both control sticks at the same time to... <coughs> okay. In order to control your skis, you'll first have to lift the ski sticks off the ground and hold them parallel with your ski. Hmm. Tilt your controllers forward so that the pointy ends of your ski sticks comfortably clear the ground. Let's give it a try. Turn your controllers forward. Yeah. Now that you have the right stance for steering, look down at your ski. The position of your sticks now represents the orientation of your ski. That means, if you turn both controllers to the left, for example, your ski will also turn left. Tr hmm. Remember to tilt your... Um, all right. <laughs> and you surely can guess what I will ask next. Please turn both hands, and accordingly your ski, to the right. Very good. Lastly, before you pick up any real speed, it's important that you know how to brake, of course. In yeah. order to brake, 
turn both hands towards each other, so the skis will form a pointy triangle. This is what we call the snowplow stance. It will slow you down when you're sliding, just like a real snowplow. Give it a try. <laughs> Very good. So, these are the basics. Just remember to tilt your controllers forward so your ski sticks become parallel to the ground if you want to steer. But now, it's finally time to head down Beginner's Hill. Just use your ski sticks to push off and go downhill. Now, try to steer towards that pathfinding marker. Did this go? Now, turn both hands inwards towards each other. Then your skis will act as a snowplow and you will slow... Hmm. If you want to turn around while stationary, put one of your ski sticks into the ground and squeeze it tightly. Now, while keeping a tight grip, you can slide around the stick by twisting your hand. Okay, so these were the basics. Oh. Put it but in and then since turn. you'll be moving around a lot this week, it's important that you really get the hang of all this. Would you prefer to practice some more? No. All right. If you want to move on, just make your way towards the hut again. Okay. Now get back up there with nice big movements. To go uphill, it helps to bend your knee and duck your head while doing a long... Oh, let's get to one of your main tasks here now. All the different ski routes have to be opened. And of course, it would be best if you make sure they are safely skiable before doing so. There should be a red signpost somewhere at the top of the hill. Do you see it? Then get over there. All right. So, the thing is, you need to open the lock at the bottom and then fold the sign up so it reads open instead of closed. Ooh, but thinking about this, you need our special key for that. I guess our senior scout will have left it on the porch of the hut. Go over there and take a look. Porch of the hut. Of course you can switch between skiing and walking at any time by pressing both control sticks. I'm okay with this. I see the key. Nice, there's the key. Just pick it up. Okay, now you got the Snow Scout key. You can put it in either front pocket of your pants by looking down. Place it in one of the circles to stow it away. Are there circles? Yes, there are. Nice! You can pull the key out at any time by reaching towards your pocket. Now, get back to that sign. Great! Now, pull the key from your pocket. Then you can open the lock at the bottom of the sign and fold it up. Now that the QR code is visible, the AR overlay will show the best times of the course, which are stored in our online database. A little sportsy competition is always a good thing, don't you think? <laughs> I agree! And I'm curious to see how you will fare on the more complicated courses later on. Now it's time to go down the course. <laughs> Press start and try to go through all the flag gates and have a look what kind of time you get. I'll make it off. Awesome, go for it. Okay. Wait. Fantastic. Now you know about testing and opening the ski slopes, which is one of your main tasks this week. 
Of course, the other skiing grounds have lots of different slopes, which are harder to ski too. Let's have a look at the first area that is close to here. Please turn around so you face uphill again, then keep to the left. At the top, you'll find the pathway to the next area. Oh, and don't forget to always take the key with you after you've used it. In case you ever lose it and you can't find it where you left it, you can only hope that our senior scout will find it and put it back on the porch. Okay. I want to try this again. long to learn. This is good. Follow this path to get to the next area. From here, you'll do a bit of cross-country skiing to get to the next skiing ground. Just push yourself off with the ski sticks and you'll start to glide. Then you can steer by twisting both of your hands left or right. freshly waxed, so it's no problem to slide over wooden surfaces, like this little bridge here. Uh -oh. oh shoot, what's that? A massive snowdrift blocking the way. That's really unusual for this time of year. None of our scouts reported anything like this. Oh, we don't have any tools to clear it. Do you think there is a way for you to get around it? Yeah, that's what I thought. It's definitely not worth the risk for now. Well, this unexpected event brings me to a very important topic. It can be dangerous out here. You should always keep in mind that this is basically an untamed wilderness. At least until you are more familiar with the conditions, you should always stay on the beaten path. One misstep can mean serious injury or even death. And it will take quite a while till any help can reach you. Got it? That's good to hear. Have you ever been in a situation that felt life-threatening to you? Maybe even only in retrospect? Lucky you. But then, this lesson is even more important. I think you can really only learn from experience that there is an actual risk you yourself may die. For me, there was this one episode on a day out in school. There was something like a mini glass here on our path. The teachers told everyone to hold hands and form a line. And then the other kids went over all careful at a snail's pace. I found that oh, lighting and changing. Just tried to get past them on the downhill side. But before I even knew it, I slipped and smashed hard into the ice, starting to slide. I had to ram my fingernails into the ice in order not to fall down the ravine. Then the kid next to me offered her hand and together everyone pulled me up. 
When I stood on solid ground again, I looked down the steep ravine and then I knew. It was intense, but a really valuable lesson. You know what I mean? Glad I could get that off my chest. Let it be an example to you. <laughs> you know what? Let's just call it a day for now and head back to the hut. I'll ask our senior scouts to bring by a shovel tomorrow morning. Game progress saved. Ooh, I guess it's time to check out your new home. Head over to the hut. This is the cannon shack. Yes, you heard that right. There's an artillery cannon in there. But, oh, this is the first snow scout accommodation in this valley. Open the door with your key and get inside. Okay. to your new home for the week. It's got all modern contraptions. A stuff to keep you warm, a bed to sleep in, a closet for your stuff, a cupboard full of food, and even the latest in technology, a so-called television set. <laughs> Before you settle in though, we really have to put on a fire. Otherwise, you'll be frozen before you know it. Please step outside again to get some firewood. Mm -hmm. Ah, there's some logs for the fire. Reach behind your left shoulder and grab your backpack. Then you can put the logs in there. What is it? Reach behind your left shoulder and grab your backpack with the button. Which button? Oh, it's over here. Okay, here's the fire blocks. There they are. should be enough for the night. Head back inside and start yourself a nice cozy fire. Now just pull the locks out of your bag and place them in the stove. Once three pieces are inside, use the lighter to set them on fire. Tomorrow, get some food from the cupboard and place it on the stove. No pot? Can I have a pot? Okay, you know we are a non profit organization and business hasn't been so great recently, so we got a can of stew for you. One for each day you're here. But don't worry, it's the really good stuff with organic ingredients, vitamins, and everything you need for your life up here. Just pick one and then place it on the stove. I did it. I got it. And? What do you say? Was it tasty? Mm, I don't know. Oh, sorry about that. But as I said, all the nutrients are there, so this will have to do for the week. Anyhow, if you're tired, you can go straight to bed. I'll wake you up early in the morning. <laughs> or you could watch TV for a bit. This painting is really cool. 
picture, I guess. This majestic site is the Ngorongoro crater in so, Tanzania. This is it what was formed was about like two to three place. million years ago when a huge volcanic mountain that could have been over 5,000 meters high collapsed. So the resulting slope, which is like now directly in front of us, goes down a good At 600 meters. Nice the entire area so of the like, crater extends over 250 square kilometers, which is slightly larger than the city of Frankfurt am Main. But instead of people, huge herds of animals live here. The area is part of the Serengeti National Park. Since 2000... Alright, sleep. Rolling zombies zero. Oh, nice. This is a problem. Sweet dreams, then. Day one. See you in the morning. in the mountains. We have to work with the daylight. So as soon as you're ready, please go outside. We got stuff to do. Okay, so our senior scout should have dropped off a shovel on the way to his station for you. Have a look around the hut. It should be there somewhere. Found it. Oh great, you've got it. Since it's cut... Once you're ready, head back to that snowdrift that stopped you yesterday. It's time for some payback. That's right. These are off-center. Thumb stick to turn doesn't work when you have your skis on. If it gets off center, I think it's better to just take them off, put them back on. such litterbugs. They throw the candy wrappings and what not on the ground. It gets snowed over and then reappears eventually in the next season. Can you see any trash in your vicinity? Yeah. Well, I'm sure you'll eventually spot some trash here and there. It would really be great if you could help us clean up. It's not exactly in your contract, but... You can collect any trash in your backpack and take it back to the cannon shack for recycling. A clean environment looks much better to visitors and, of course, it's great for nature, too. Despite wind and warmth. So, 
Get the shovel out and get to work. <laughs> Where did the shovel go? It's not toggle to grip. You gotta hold it. Alright. Okay. Once you're clear, you can continue. The first skiing ground awaits. As you've probably seen from the tourist information, our resort is made up of a huge looping path that goes once around the rim of the valley. There's a big lake in the middle, and we have three large skiing grounds that go down to the waterline. The connecting paths between them are cross-country tracks, like this one. Outclosed. So where's the race? on the course. Thank you for testing this cross-country course. Let me go back. That part is cool. Ooh, there's a lot of wood that you could chop up for a fire. But first, we have to get you an eggs. Okay. Jamie Hero. That's good. You made it. This is the first and smallest skiing ground of the resort. Before you get to skiing though, we have to check the snow cover for an avalanche risk. There should be some markings somewhere along the mountain wall. Please look for them. That looks pretty massive.
ring. I really thought we can put stuff in that box. Okay. Our senior scout has spray painted the snow you'll need to excavate. Ram your shovel into the ground in the marked areas a couple of times until the snow cover breaks. Then you can start digging a little trench. You should dig down until you hit the ice floor underneath. Please do this for all the marked areas. The reason for this exercise is that these slightly thawing conditions can make skiing very dangerous. It's possible that the top layer of snow hardens while there are more fluffy layers underneath. If you put pressure on the huge caked layer, it can break and start to slide downhill, creating a huge avalanche if things go badly. That's why you have to dig along these markings, so we get a nice cube of snow that we can use for testing. Okay. Is it done? You want me to take more? Don't do that. Great. That's one more area to clear and you've done it. Okay. Now, this is a block of snow that has the same layering as the snow around it. We'll need to try and see how it reacts to pressure. You will hit it with a shovel a number of times. First, do three light swings where you basically only swing the shovel using your wrist. So far. Now, do three swings where you swing the shovel with your elbow. If the block is still standing in one piece, please do three really hard swings now. This time with the full swing of your whole arm from the shoulder. Alright. Looks good from afar. Did any huge cracks become visible from the shovel hits? Great! Then this area should be safe to ski. The next thing to do is to ride down the main slope. Down there we can get the ski lift in order.
According to last season's log, the guy who closed down the resort has left all three fuses inside the housing. Just slot them in. Get back. Then flick the switches on the fuses and it should be done. from here. Now, just hop on one of the seats and go up. Okay. How do I hop on the seat? Auto hop. Ah, a relaxing ski lift ride. Just sitting there. Taking a break from all the skiing, just watching nature roll by. <laughs> Isn't it great? Yeah, I really love it. Especially that rumbling when the seat hinge goes over the wheels. Somehow, brings back memories. I think this is where I'm going to stop. 